Who said that you have to pay in order to learn a UI UX design? Nowadays, there are tons of free resources and in this video, I'm going to show you my very top uh, suggestions in order for you to learn UI UX design for free. Now, that being said, uh, um, learning UI UX design is always uh, a work in progress, so you always want to keep uh, updated with uh, the latest uh, uh, news, trends, uh, softwares and things of that nature. However, um, the basics uh, always uh, remain pretty much the same and uh, although there are some uh, um, modifications and improvements in technology day after day, month after month and year after year, the basics uh, of uh, UX uh, and uh, also of UI uh, remain pretty much the same. So without further ado, let's jump uh, into my computer and let's see what are my favorite uh, UI UX resources where you're going to be able to learn uh, um, UI UX design for free. So let's start with the first one, and this is uh, a free ebook by Envision, which is uh, a very big company, in, uh, and it's been a major player in uh, UI UX for uh, a lot of time. So this free ebook uh, basically teaches you the principles of UX design, and uh, so you can just put an email, and uh, you're going to receive the ebook. Uh, and uh, I think it's uh, a good starting point. And uh, basically, uh, you're going to receive uh, these following chapters, which is uh, an, intro an introduction to what is user experience, um, UX as a practice, and the roles that make it up, project planning and process, uh, what is user research. What are personas and why are they important? And uh, what is information architecture, UX visual design, presenting and participating in UX reviews and uh, beyond the UI. So it's a good starting point, in my opinion, if you're uh, just starting out uh, in UX. Uh, and uh, it's uh, a short but uh, uh, packed ebook, uh, so you might want to check it out. Now, the second resource uh, which uh, I recommend uh, for learning UI UX design for free is uh, Design Better. And uh, Design Better um, essentially um, gives you some uh, free ebooks uh, which uh, are really nice uh, and uh, uh, they're also like the, the design the style is, is pretty cool. Um, as you can see here, there are a few of them. And uh, I would suggest you, if you're just starting out, uh, to check out their principles of product design ebook. Uh, design thinking also has some uh, really good nuggets. Uh, design leadership is uh, if you already have experience and uh, you kind of want to learn more about uh, um, design management or leadership specifically. And um, also, I would uh, definitely check out the design systems because design systems, they're it's something which is uh, very important to learn as a concept uh, from uh, the start. So even if you're not going to uh, create or manage design systems uh, as a junior designer, you really want to get into the mindset uh, of uh, um, creating them and uh, really the, the, the thinking and the methodology behind the design system is something which is very, very important. Um, design Ops, uh, I haven't checked this one out, uh, but uh, might be interesting. I really have no idea what what's about, to be honest. And uh, we also have Enterprise Design Sprints, which is um, which is a cool read. Um, definitely, I mean, guys, pretty much I would check all of these ebooks out uh, if you're starting out. Uh, and um, yeah, I mean, you can you can just uh, leave them there. Uh, the email, the first name, you are receiving in, in the inbox in seconds, so that's pretty cool. And uh, the next resource which I want to uh, talk about is Smashing Magazine. And uh, Smashing Magazine has been uh, a very authoritative uh, uh, magazine and website uh, in the design industry. And um, if you go over to this link, uh, and by the way, guys, all of these uh, websites and uh, resources are going to be in the either in the description or in the comments of this video. So you're going to have full access to all of them. And um, yeah, that's uh, that's that. So you're going to be able to see that. And uh, Smashing Magazines has uh, an amazing uh, blog. 
and um, there's several blog posts uh, divided up uh, by categories and uh, the one which uh, I recommend for UI UX design is to is the user experience uh, category and uh, basically over here there they have over 271 articles on uh, <laughs> on this blog so it's huge it's uh, it's definitely a a resource which uh, you know is endless and uh, it's constantly growing so there are a lot of uh, very specific blog posts um, as well as uh, introductory blog posts so i would definitely check out uh, smashing magazine because uh, um, i know it's it has been a gold mine uh, for me especially when i was starting out uh, i learned tons from uh, smashing magazine and uh, their blog posts and uh, also they have a lot of uh, authors so it's not like a um, a one single point of view, but uh, they have a lot of uh, uh, different point of views, and uh, so some of the authors are, are really big in, in the design community, and uh, they really make a, um, a, a lot of impact. So it's um, it's definitely a great resource. I would definitely check it out if you're into UI UX or even website design. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, that. Now, the other resource which uh, I want to talk about uh, is uh, the Google Material Design um, Guidelines. And uh, although this is not uh, really like a step-by-step -step, uh, um, tutorial or step-by-step -step, like ebook in which uh, you're going to learn um, concepts in a linear way, sometimes with Google Material Designs you, you kind of have to like look your way around uh, and uh, kind of like understand and learn things from a proven structure but um, that being said the google material design is an amazing resource to study and uh, to really see how the pros uh, approach uh, um, high quality design projects ux thinking you're going to learn a lot about uh, um, ux patterns and the things that work and things that doesn't and uh, if you go on uh, material.io slash design and uh, again guys you're going to find all of these resources in uh, the link either in the description or in the comments um, you're going to be able to see that uh, they explain uh, all of their philosophies all of their um, basically ways of thinking uh, when, when it comes to material design and uh, ux patterns in general and uh, there's there really is a lot to learn over here um there really is a lot of to learn and uh, it's uh, organized in a very very digestible way because sometimes as ui ux designers we kind of tend uh, tend to take some things for granted just because uh, maybe we worked in the industry for 10 years and uh, we just see things uh, and we can't really explain the reason why a UX pattern or a UI design uh, um, is, is actually like feels well but uh, Google Material Design um, they made a tremendous effort uh, in uh, really explaining the whys behind uh, why a UX solution and why a UI design solution is uh, uh, working and why it's not and um, just just looking through their documentation and uh, uh, really uh, reading through and, and seeing the live examples you're going to learn a lot so this is definitely a resource which uh, I recommend you to, to check out because it's uh, uh, it, it really is a great resource and uh, uh, it's definitely something that uh, should be studied uh, over and over again. I myself, uh, um, even if I have like many many years of working in the industry, I always go back to Google Material Design and uh, uh, I always learn something new really because it's... Uh, uh, it, 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 there's just so much, <laughs> there's just so much, let's just put it at this. So yeah, that's uh, uh, it when it comes to the material design. Now let's move on to the next resource, which is uh, medium.com, but especially the Moodsly magazine. Um, that, like, on, on Medium you can find uh, tons of great design uh, blog posts, but uh, in particular if you go here in uh, this uh, 
Muslim magazine. They really made an amazing uh, effort in order to kind of like uh, collect uh, some of the, the, the most uh, great uh, uh, blog posts uh, and um, you can learn a lot uh, uh, and like you, you can literally spend uh, weeks uh, and months uh, just going through uh, this you're going to learn so much uh, and it's uh, so well organized you're going to find uh, uh, some, some great readings like this one on what is a design system and uh, um, yeah this is just like one that I picked uh, out of all of them but Newsly Magazine, definitely check it out uh, and uh, also Medium in general, they have uh, so many uh, great blog posts uh, and uh, my recommendation if you're searching on Medium, a uh, little tip that I want to give you is to search for the most popular blog posts um, in, the, in, in the filtering and uh, that, that being said like you're going to find the most the most popular ones, which uh, are, are, are really like the, the best ones. But um, of course, there can be blog posts where, that don't have uh, like uh, that many views or that many uh, thumbs up, uh, and uh, they're still going to be great. But um, yeah, I mean, medium great uh, great place to have a look around in order to learn UI UX design for free, and especially this Muesli section, it's uh, it's amazing. The next one is uh, hackdesign.org and uh, I think that hack design uh, um, it's uh, a great uh, um, initial uh, place to, to learn UI and uh, um, design in general. So yeah, I would definitely check this one out and uh, basically you, with hack design you're going to receive a design lesson in your inbox each week uncrafted uh, by a design pro. So yeah, this is a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool thing. So you can, might as, as well check it out. Then the next uh, website, uh, it's, uh, um, I need to do a premise because uh, when it comes to design resources, I think that as a designer, and uh, especially if you're looking to learn a uh, UI design and uh, how um, projects are structured, or even if you're looking to learn uh, uh, design systems and things of that nature, I think that just uh, downloading uh, um, designs which uh, you like uh, and uh, UI kits, uh, I think that you can learn a lot uh, um, just by doing that and uh, just uh, looking at the file around uh, and uh, seeing how they're organized, uh, uh, what typeface they're using, what fonts they're using. Um, I remember that um, when, I, when I was first starting out, uh, I would always create like these design projects almost in a, in, in a vacuum, meaning that uh, um, I, I, was, uh, I wasn't really in touch with uh, great designs. Uh, and uh, just opening design files uh, of uh, uh, better designers or better design solutions which uh, uh, compared to the ones which uh, I was currently working on that really helped a lot uh, because um, uh, it really enabled me to see things from different perspectives really enabled me to see what success looks like and uh, also the flaws with my current design files and uh, this uh, has been something which is very very which has been very very important in uh, my career and uh, uh, it's definitely something which i recommend you to do so just uh, go on a website uh, where you can find freebies um, this is the one which i recommend for sketchup uh, if you're using that software and uh, this is pretty much like the, the major website uh, at the moment i think and uh, it's been a website which I used for many, many years before I switched to Figma. And uh, if you're into Figma, you can see um, a lot of design freebies on uh, this website over here, uh, Figma Freebies. And uh, basically, um, you can download them all for free. There are some really great designs also with uh, um, animation and uh, things of that nature. And um, yeah, definitely check it out uh, if you're interested in uh, uh, Figma or Sketch Freebies. And again, research, the link is going to be in the research. And uh, last but not least, uh, my name is Pierre uh, Luigi, and I'm a UI UX designer, designer with uh, self promotion. But you're going to find my channel, and uh, in my channel, I give away uh, everything for free. So you're going to find 
tons of uh, UI and uh, UX design uh, um, uh, videos and uh, um, I, I cover both the softwares uh, so I'm going to share uh, live uh, uh, design projects and uh, creating UI design projects from scratch and also technical software tutorials as well as the business side so how to get clients how to work remotely how to structure up uh, your freelance design business and uh, uh, make things more fast, efficient and uh, just be successful, a uh, successful designer overall. So this is pretty much it for this video. Um, another cool thing that I want to mention is uh, uh, UI kits. Um, I would definitely recommend you to check out UI kits and uh, in the link in the description I'm leaving uh, uh, my number on the research for UI kits and um, that's where uh, I also um, have, uh, have made several UI kits and uh, you, you can check them out you can check out the ones from other authors too there's uh, tons of talented people in that website so uh, you might check, check it out in the description and um, yes this is pretty much it guys like nowadays you don't necessarily need uh, to uh, buy an expensive course or um, like just invest a lot of money to learn uh, the basics and uh, really get started so you can definitely have a, a feel of this field and uh, uh, really learn some in-depth knowledge uh, completely for free so this is it for this video hope you liked it if you did uh, um, please leave a thumbs up it really motivates me to create uh, uh, more videos because i know that uh, these videos are appreciated and also feel free to leave a comment and uh, ask any questions when it comes to ui design and uh, or ux design and uh, if you have any uh, free resources which uh, you'd like to recommend to others feel free to leave a comment about that too because uh, that can definitely help and uh, i'm all, i'm also myself uh, really interested in learning uh, uh, more about more more resources so yeah let's uh, keep this conversation going and uh, this is it for this video so i'll see you in the next one